Democratic Senate candidate Mark Kelly, thank you so much for being here. We want to start first with the crowded Democratic field. How do you see this going as we inch closer and closer to 2020 and possibly beating President Donald Trump? Well, you mean the presidential field, right? So yes, 16 months field. into yeah. until the election. I mean, that's a long way. The you know yes. the Iowa caucus next year, right? So there's going to be a lot of changes, mm -hmm. I think. And but you know what's clear to me is as I travel around Arizona mm -hmm. across the state. You know, the, the, the things that those candidates running for president are often talking about, it's not the things that Arizonans are focused on. Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean there, there's a real uh, desire here to fix our health care system, to provide, make sure everybody gets good health care. The border is front and center. Uh, some of the issues that you hear presidential candidates talking about, you know, you know, those are down in the weeds, I think, for, for folks here in Arizona. That said, Mark, short of an endorsement, are there any candidates who have policies that, that are more in line with yours than others? You know, I am focused on this race running for the United States Senate. I think Arizona needs an independent voice, uh, you know, in the United States Senate that's so, so important. And, you know, the way John McCain, you know, represented uh, the state. Uh, so I'm not focused on, like, picking out, you know, which candidate uh, is is best or worse for me? Sure. Uh, you know that's that that's not a priority. All right, we want to talk about we're moving on to a different topic. Iran has announced its plan to move closer to developing a nuclear weapon. What action do you think the U.S. should take? Well, so uh, first of all, I served in you know the Arabian Gulf, uh, two deployments. I flew in Operation Desert Storm. My first time over there, we were dealing with a similar situation where they were aggressively pursuing merchant ships going through the Straits of Hormuz. Right. Um, you know, we should not consider this like, uh, a situ like the situation we had with Iraq or Afghanistan. Iran is a much more capable country. Mm -hmm. uh, their military is bigger, better equipped, better trained. If we got into a conflict with Iran, we, and we shouldn't, uh, this would very quickly spread throughout the re region. You would see Hamas involved and Hezbollah you know, up in up in Lebanon. I mean, this would completely consume this the, this region. At the same time, we cannot allow Iran to get a nuclear weapon. They're getting closer to that. The agreement we had with our allies and with Iran, we should not have gotten out of that agreement. I think that's that that's a major mistake. So this is this is going to be a challenging situation going forward here. Uh, but clearly, uh, Iran has been incredibly aggressive. Uh, we need to continue to make sure that the Straits of Hormuz stay open. I mean, that is a major, you know, avenue for, you know, oil that goes throughout the world. Um, and, you know, but but getting out of the agreement, the, the JCPOA was, in my opinion, a in mistake. The first place. And we could talk about that topic all day, but we can't have an astronaut in the house without asking one space question. Next week marks 50 years since the Apollo 11 mission. As a former NASA astronaut, what does that achievement mean to you? Well, and also as a former little kid. Yeah, I right. I was in kindergarten oh when. Oh my gosh, do you remember? Can you recall? When so it this is interesting. So my my twin brother, who's also an astronaut, yes. he clearly remembers Apollo 11. And you. My mother says I fell asleep on the floor, <laughs> so I totally missed it. Uh, I do remember the later Apollo flights. Yeah, uh, it was so important to me, me growing up, and inspired me to you know go into a career focused on like science and math and engineering. Uh, so, so just this you know last week, I was uh, over at the Arizona Science Center meeting with a bunch of little kids to try to keep them motivated. We need more scientists and engineers in this country. Fabulous. It's so important. So I'm trying to get that message out there that 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 space is fun and it's exciting. It's the future person that's going to walk on Mars for the very first time. They're alive today. They're probably in some middle school or high school. They might even be a little <laughs> you know more in the studio. It could Kristen be Kristen. Keel. Kristen, Kristen you yeah. love forecasting weather. Mark, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Great. Thank Fabulous. You. Great to Appreciate see you. It.